After several hours of work, I am done sewing my camping hammock. Let's take a look at it. It has a somewhat similar design to the war bonnet. It is 11 foot in length. It has the bug netting that zips full on this front side here. So it goes all the way up top and zips to the full other side over here. I figured that I could flip this net over and have an open side if I wanted some air and then flip it back and zip it shut whenever I need to sleep. Now this suspension is not what I'm gonna be using when I actually camp. I'm using a continuous loop of am steel through the end of the hammock that is sewn together. And then I've got a really lightweight carabiner rated for, I forget if it's uh, five to 600 pounds. I forget what it, let's see what it says here. It doesn't. Anyway, it's designed for hammocks, so it should be good. The bug netting is a little bit more taut than I was expecting, but as you can see, it still has plenty of give. One of the first things I noticed about this Hyper D fabric is it doesn't feel eh, like ripstop. It feels more like, I don't know, silk. Very comfortable. Um, so you can see this hangs down a little bit, but I've got a uh, rope I'm gonna be using in here as uh, a means of holding this net up a little bit. But if I'm laying diagonal, let's close this zipper too. Oh dear, why is it so far away? So as you can see, when I'm laying diagonal, it definitely gives me enough room in here. To keep the bug net up and to allow for storage options, I've got a little rope here on a carabiner. And if you come in real tight up here to the corner, there's actually a piece of webbing sewn in See if I can get to it here. There you go, a little hard to see, but that piece of webbing will allow me to stretch an interior rope as a ridge line inside the hammock. There we go. So I can adjust that as needed, but it will keep the bug netting up high and also give me options for storing things on top of that. Okay, I've taken several clips of the sewing of this hammock. I know they're kind of boring, but maybe it'll give you an idea of how I put this thing together. So I hope you enjoy.
Now that the hammock is done, I wanted to just show you kind of a highlight of the steps that I did. First, I laid the material out and I folded over the edge twice. So it was uh, folded over, pinned, sewn, and then folded over again, pinned, and sewn. That way it's nice and looped over and it won't be unraveling on the seams. Then I flipped over the uh, middle piece here and I think it was 14 and a quarter inches on both sides and I sewed this up about eight inches so you can see from right here it goes up over and connects there and then I uh, just flipped uh, this side over and sewed it uh, it's got three different stitches there for security so once that was done uh, oh and also I figured that I would put this strap webbing here for a gear loft and as you can see my netting is not quite sewn in yet for total bug proof but it's close okay so once the hammock was done itself I then came back and installed the bug netting this side worked out pretty well the other side over here though I have this uh, excess tail right here that I need to cut off and work with just uh, poor measurements there Okay, as the zipper goes, I cut the zipper ends off and re-threaded the pull so that it would close uh, towards the middle. So it has an opening here and then uh, opens towards the ends. Now on the end of the zipper, I did um, install a little ripstop piece here on the end to prevent the zipper from going past and also I sewed in a little stop right inside of that as well. Worked out pretty well. I like it a lot. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's helped in your hammock designing stage. I'm going to be using this hammock uh, pretty soon on a camping trip and I look forward to giving it a test. So if you've got some great constructive ideas, please post those in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Bye.